guys, it's Melissa here from MelissaOatman.com. If you are seeing me today, I channeled some messages for you from the universe, and I'm also going to pull some tarot cards and a few cards from the Angel Prayer Deck by Kyle Gray to get you some messages for the upcoming week. Uh, I have tried to record this video so many times, so that may be something that's going on for you. You may feel like you keep trying to do things and it's not working out and you keep having to start over and redo things. That's kind of how this energy has been. So the message coming out today is to be discerning. Have a clear understanding and get all of the facts before you act. You know what to do, so use your inner wisdom. There are tests coming in. So you may have tests, whether it's people coming back from the past, situations coming up where you have to make a decision. This is sort of a test and it's 1010 on my clock right now, which means 1010 is all about change. So there's huge transformation coming in, but it might be requiring you to make decisions. And the universe says, you know what to do, but get all of the facts and trust yourself because you have everything you need right now. Use your inner discerning and your inner wisdom. Right now, there are a lot of tests coming back in and I know you're all going, oh no, no more tests, I'm done with that. Uh, but really, we're going through these last stages of these tests to see if we're ready for what we're asking the universe to bring in for us. And it's not a bad thing, but trust yourself. So you have the moon. So some of you, there are some hidden things that you really can't see right now, but they're asking you to see through the illusion and deception. Um, there may be some subconscious fear going there. You're not seeing all the facts. So what was hidden for you may now be coming to light. And again, you may be receiving news and it's asking you to use your discernment to, um, <clears throat> to make your decisions. And you have the Nine of Swords. Some of you have been worrying and you're up at night. You feel hopeless and like nothing is changing. So the universe wants you to ask yourself, why do you worry so much? What is asking to be looked at and to be healed? So what's causing you this worry and why do you need to, maybe you need to look at something and heal it. And you have the devil. So this is, your limiting beliefs are the only thing holding you back. So all of this fear and worry, like you're keeping yourself in a mental prison. There's no reason for it. You need to ask yourself, what beliefs are holding me back? Why am I keeping myself stuck? You don't need to be up at night worrying because you already know what to do. And things are being brought to light that were once hidden. So the universe is just asking you to use your intuition to make your decisions. There's going to be new opportunities coming in for you and you may have new financial opportunities coming in for you. What opportunities of prosperity are right in front of you? So again, some of you are not seeing things that are right in front of your face. And they're asking you to look at what is in front of your face? What opportunities do you have for prosperity? And then you have the Queen of Wands. So this is about passion and joy. So some of you are going to be finding a renewed passion and joy in your life and in your career. Use your natural talents. Call on your own inner abilities and your inner wisdom. Are you uh, <clears throat> maintaining your creative vision in the face of adversity? So if you're facing challenges, are you staying true to who you are and your creative side? So it's asking you to do that. And let's see what messages come out with the uh, angel prayer deck. Well, the first one is balance. Thank you angels for bringing my life into balance. For some of you, this is about examining what isn't working in your life anymore and getting rid of what you no longer, like what's not serving you, get rid of it so they can bring your life into balance. And then you have expressed your creativity. And this is all about um, allowing your creativity to shine and some of you are so talented, but you're not really using your talents and the universe wants you to. So you also have count your blessings. Thank you universe and angels for the blessings in my life. When we want to see our manifestations come in, oftentimes we should be showing gratitude each day for where we are and what we have, because where you are is not where you're going to be in six months. You're going to be in such a better place, but you need to count your blessings for where you are right now. Honor your beauty. So many of you have so much inner beauty. Thank you, Archangel Jophiel, for helping me discover my inner and outer beauty. And you need to honor that for yourself. You have focused your mind. 
Thank you, angels, for helping me to focus on my priorities. So they want you to use your creativity and prioritize things so that you can have an equal balance in your life and that you can focus on the things that you're hoping to manifest. And then you have signs from heaven. So some of you are receiving signs from your loved ones in heaven, whether it's your spirit guides or departed loved ones. So pay attention to the signs that are being sent for you. Here we have feathers in this card, but you may see feathers, you may see coins. Some people bring birds like cardinals, butterflies. So pay attention to the signs that are coming to you. Use your intuition and you need to follow those signs and follow your gut and everything is going to work out for you. You just need to trust yourself. And for a lot of people, that's hard to do. It's hard to trust yourself, but your intuition will never fail you. So I hope that those messages resonated. Um, I hope that you have a beautiful week. If you would like to join us on Patreon, we do this every week. We usually meet on Mondays and I pull cards for each person on the Patreon and we dive into messages or just give them general messages. You also get an extra episode of my podcast, Awaken Your Inner Awesomeness, which is not available to the public. And I also post daily readings there. So I'd love to have you. It's absolutely free to try it. You can stay with us for a week. If you don't like it, you can simply cancel your membership. There's no obligation at all. And we'd love to see you there. It's a loving and supportive group. If you go to the link in my bio and my link tree, you can see the link for Patreon. So join us there. Uh, you can also find my podcast, Awaken Your Inner Awesomeness, each week. It is available wherever podcasts are found. And if you would like to book a reading with me, I do private readings, 30 minute or hour sessions. I will never reach out to you though. So please don't uh, fall for that. I don't reach out to people. So if you'd like to book a reading with me, go to my website. The link is in the bio. It's also melissaoten.com forward slash store. I would love to work with you. I hope you have a beautiful week. I'm sending you so much love and light and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys.